This is the Indiana Religious Freedom Restoration Act challenge to Clinton, Irse, Cyrus, Kutcher, Cher, Wilco, et al. After signing Indiana's Religious Freedom Restoration Act, Governor Mike Pence tweeted, Faith and religion are important values to millions of IN residents. With passage of RFRA, IN will continue to respect beliefs of all Hoosiers. In short, the act is an extension of the age-old and com completely legal right for a business to refuse service to anyone or not. Politicians, the media, and pop culture are ablaze with regards to this issue, and yet surely no one who opposes the act opposes refusal of service in general. For example, there are laws that keep bar owners from serving inebriated customers. That is perfectly acceptable discrimination because fill in the blank with your favorite reason, such as endangerment of lives, etc. What if a man walks into a fine dining restaurant wearing nothing but a Speedo and is asked to leave? That is perfectly acceptable discrimination because fill in the blank with your favorite reason. What if a dirty and smelly homeless person wants to enter a Hillary Clinton event? Or a person spewing loud expletives out of their mouth demands to stay in a movie theater showing a children's movie? The examples could go on and on and on and on and on they go. The point is that everyone accepts one or another form of discrimination, but some forms are not deemed to be politically correct de jour. And thus, it is acceptable to discriminate against those found guilty of un-PC discrimination. Here's a small example of celeb tweets and actions against Indiana. Hillary Clinton tweeted, Sad this new Indiana law can happen in America today. We shouldn't discriminate against people because of who they love. San Francisco and Seattle mayors and Connecticut and Washington governors have put a hold on government travel to Indiana. Laurel Davila, a commentator on a progressive radio show, a progressive is a liberal who is ashamed to admit it, tweeted, silence is consent. The NCAA, headquartered in Indianapolis, is due to host their final four basketball game in Indiana, but will change it to elsewhere in the future. The NBA, WNBA, and the NFL have also been critical. Indianapolis Colts owner Jim Irsay tweeted, The Colts have always embraced inclusiveness, tolerance, and a diverse fan base. We welcome all fans to Colt Nation. One family. The band called Wilco canceled the concert that was due to take place in Indianapolis. Cher, whose son Chaz Bono is transgendered, tweeted, and I quote directly, um, hashtag GovPence is another example of right-wing racism, assault on women's rights, and hatred of LGBT Americans. People use Bible to justify slavery also. A video is going viral that is called, Indiana is a great place to be a bigot. Ashton Kutcher tweeted, Indiana, are you also going to allow Christian establishments to ban Jews from coming in, or vice versa? Religious freedom? On Instagram, Miley Cyrus wrote, In honor of hashtag this and another hashtag I had to delete uh, due to expletives, to Indiana's RFRA. It is unevolved and unjust. You may hear that this bill isn't what the big bad liberals are making it out to be. That this isn't a discriminatory act. It is just to protect the quote-unquote consciousness of Christians to judge anyone for how they want to express themselves and their love to another human is wrong, no matter how these, and another expletive deleted, sugarcoat it. The Bible says, if that's what we're really basing a 2015 bill on, the way that you judge others will be the way that you will be judged. 
which I hope is just as harshly and unfair as those uh, a part of Indiana's LGBT community. The fight for freedom isn't over. I won't give up. By the way, this is the very same Miley Cyrus who admitted that she uses date rape drugs on people and encourages her mostly very, very young audience to do the same. Now, here's the challenge to them all. As reported in the article, Susana Martinez, Gay Marriage, Discrimination and Prejudice, from February 24, 2012 AD, Antonio Darren, a homosexual cos cosmetologist, refused to cut New Mexico Governor Susana Martinez's hair due to her political position on same-sex marriage. He discriminated and refused her business. You do not know about it because her reaction was simply to go elsewhere and not to file a lawsuit, not to call for a boycott, not to demand that he close his business, and not to start a media circus. Based on your position on this issue, unless you condemn Darren and demand the boycott of his business, then you are clearly not interested in this issue, but are simply posturing. 